Now we're going to go backwards. They're going to give us the equation and we're going to find the vertex, the focus, directrix, and graph it. So we're going to look at that equation. Oh, we're going to say y is squared, so I know it's horizontal, so it either goes that way or that way. And because it's negative, I know it goes to the left. So how about what's our vertex? H and K. Remember you want to do the X value first and that minus is part of the formula so it's just positive 2. And since that's plus we want to take the opposite because the formula has Y minus K. Right? So really the opposite of to go backwards. If I put a negative 1 in here a minus a minus 1 would become positive 1. So my vertex is at 2, negative 1. 4a is negative 4, so a is negative 1, and that tells me to go left. The y squared tells me to go left or right. This negative tells me to go left. So that's my vertex. That's my focus, which means my directrix is in the other direction. Well, right there I can tell that my directrix is x is equal to 3. So I have my vertex, my directrix, need my focus. Well, I can read that point. The less, all I have left is to graph it. So since my focal width is 4, and I want to go through the focus, split it in half because it's symmetric, connect those dots. Now number five is even a little bit harder. This is not in standard form. So you're going to have to complete the square in order to get it in standard form. We can see since the x is squared that it's either going to be up or down type of parabola. So we're going to need to complete the square on those x values. How do I do that? We'll put your x's on one side leave a blank and move everything else to the other side. Completing the square, that has to be 1. We want to take half of that, then we want to square it, and we want to make sure that we put that on both sides. We're balancing the equation. And then we have created a perfect square trinomial that factors, something you should have done in a college algebra or even algebra 2 class in high school. And then let's go ahead, let's see, that's 9, so negative 17 plus 9 is negative 8. Then I can factor that out. And look, that's now in what we would call standard form. Completing the square, putting it in standard form. So now what's my vertex? negative 3, negative 2, again because those are both pluses and the formula has a minus, you have to take the opposite. Negative 4 is 4a, so a is negative 1. Again that negative tells you to either go down or left. Since the x is squared and that's negative, I need to go down. So that's my vertex, that's my focus. What's that ordered pair? And if I went down for my focus, then I'm going to go up one for my directrix. And again, that's a vertical line. That's my focal width. And no, they're not all four, but just those are just nice easy numbers. So through my focus, I want four wide, two on each side. There you go. So I have found the vertex, the focus, the directrix and I have graphed it. And on this one, I had to complete the square to get it into standard form. Believe it or not, if you've ever taken apart a flashlight and you cut it in half, it's a parabola. And if you were to rotate it, it's called a paraboloid of revolution. Right? That's where you get that kind of uh, shape that reflects all the light. 
If the mirror, okay, because there's usually a mirror in a flashlight, it's a shiny surface, is 12 centimeters in diameter. So right here is 12 centimeters. And it's 4 centimeters deep. You can see that this is not to scale. Sorry about that. I got it off the internet. So if that is 4 centimeters deep. Where should the light bulb be placed so it is at the focus of the mirror? That's where we want to know how where that's located. It's because of all the light rays. So when the light shines out, it hits that surface and it beams straight out anywhere you do it. It's pretty cool. How do we do that? Well, we have to create maybe an equation so we know where that focus is. Can't just say it's in the middle. So how about let's create a XY coordinate system and let's put that vertex at 0 0 just because it would be easy and so if this is 12 centimeters wide and I know it's symmetric so wouldn't it be 6 on this side 6 on this side and again way out of proportion right? and it's 4 centimeters deep 1 2 3 4 where would that point be Okay, so I would go over 6 and up 4. Wouldn't this point be 6, 4? And this point be negative 6, 4? And remember, my vertex is 0, 0. What can I do with that? Well, I know since the x is squared, I would use this formula. If my vertex is 0, 0, those go away. And don't I really need to know A because A tells me how far I need to put that focus or where that light bulb should be placed. Well, we kind of did an example like this. If you go back and look at example 3, we had very similar. Right? We know which way it goes. What else do we need? We maybe need an X, Y coordinate. Well, I'm going to choose this one just because of not the negative. So if I let x be 6 and y be 4. Let's see what happens. So that would be 6 squared equals 4a times y. So I'd have 36 and I'm going to just keep that as 4. I'm going to divide by that 4. So 4a is 9. That tells me a is 9 fourths or 2 and 1 fourth centimeters. Now what does a stand for? That's important. We started the notes off. Go back to the first page. What is A? A is the distance from the vertex to the focus. So if my vertex is here and I want to go up to and a little bit more, a fourth, that's going to be my focus. So where should the light bulb be placed so it is at the focus of the mirror? I would say 2 and 1 fourth or 2.25 centimeters above the vertex or above the bottom of the mirror. Find paraboloids all around you. From satellite dishes, you need to have that receiver at the focus to look around bridges, all kinds of things. Here is just one more example of completing the square. We need to be able to graph this equation, find the vertex, the focus, and the directrix, and write that equation in standard form. So we really need to start here in order to answer these other questions. This is not in standard form, it's in general form, and the y is squared. So we need to rewrite it and complete the square. Since the y is squared, put all the y's on one side, and everything else on the other. Then in order to complete the square, we want to take half of that coefficient, put it here, and square it, and add it to both sides. Now you may be saying, well why don't you go ahead and write 16? It's because the next step, I've created a perfect square trinomial that I need to factor, and it's just a lot easier. I know I put the variable, and then whatever half that number is, including the sign, goes there. 
convince yourself. Go ahead and FOIL that out and you would get y squared minus 8y plus 16 which is negative 4 squared. So over here I'm going to collect like terms so that's going to be plus 3. That's already looking better. The last thing I have to do is I have to factor out that coefficient and that's my equation in standard form. From there I, will, I can tell the vertex. Be careful x comes before y and I want to take the opposite sign so my vertex is negative 1 4. Let's go ahead and plot that. Now in order to find my focus and directrix I do that from my graph. Let's go ahead and do that. So if I, ha I know 4a is 3 and a is 3 fourths. a is the distance from the vertex to the focus and the vertex to the directrix but I need to know which way this graph goes. Since the y is squared it goes side to side and since that's positive it goes to the right. So from my vertex I'm going to go over to the right three-fourths and that's my focus. Well, What's that point? Well if this is negative one, this is zero, what's getting three-fourths that way? That would leave negative one-fourth but I still went up four. That's my focus. What's my directrix? Well I'm going to go three-fourths that way and draw my vertical line. So remember it's a vertical line so x equals to what value? That's negative one and that's negative two. It's almost negative two. It's a negative one and three-fourths or negative seven-fourths. Still need to graph it. Remember 4a is your focal width. That's the width through the parabola. It's not an even number so you still take half of three which is one and a half remember from the focus up one and a half, down one and a half, remember it's symmetrical then connect from the vertex. So we have completed the square and written our equation in standard form and I've answered all the other parts.